From within your event, double tap the top right corner of the screen to access the app's hidden menu. If you set a pin, you will need to enter it now. If not, it will take you right in. The first tab is the Summary tab. Here you can exit the event to get back to the event dashboard, or you can refresh an event to apply any changes. Next is the Event tab. This page allows for you to make last-minute changes or adjustments to your event. On the Device tab, you will see device-specific information. You can also run a speed test from this page to test your internet. You can also copy this info to send us if we ask you for information from this page. Next is the Printing tab. This is where you will go to get your printer connected to the iPad. Then, you have the Queue tab where you can manage your event queue. Next is Bluetooth. This tab is where you will connect to any third-party Bluetooth connections. Then, there is Video. Here you can create your own custom video templates to apply to your event. And next is Camera. This tab has the camera settings. You can switch between front and rear camera, as well as apply manual settings to your event. Auto settings are applied by default and can be overridden here if desired. And finally, Chroma. This is the tab you will use to control the settings for your green screen setup. And that's it for the hidden menu overview. Please check out some of our other videos where we will go into more detail on each tab.